So you want to get 10 times the traffic that you're getting right now from Google. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very specific metric that you can use when you are researching keywords that can help you do just that. In this video, we're going to look at click potential, a new way to do keyword research to get an idea for the, for if you could actually get any clicks, if you rank on the top of Google. Okay. So that's what we're going to look at today. My name is Lori Ballen. I'm a full-time blogger and I'm a six figure affiliate marketer. I actually blog full-time for my real estate business and for loriballen.com, which is the website where I teach content creators how to make more money online. I've been doing this since AOL said you've got mail and I've just stayed on top of the trends year over year, algorithm rollout after algorithm rollout and continue to benefit from ranking on Google organically so that I can avoid having to pay for ads and basically pay for traffic. So all of my traffic is earned in and that is a beautiful thing. So since I spend all day creating search engine optimized content with the goal of ranking on Google, I'm able to test strategies, use incredible tools and bring those success stories. This is what works to you. I also share my failures along the way. In this particular video, we're going to use a tool called SEM rush to measure the click potential. Now, if you don't already have SEM rush, um, in your suite of tools, then there is a link below in the description where you can take a trial and check out this click potential feature for yourself. I pay for SEM rush every month. It is my number one SEO tool. I use it for SEO audits, keyword research, keyword traffic, content planning, etc., etc. I also have an affiliate relationship with SEM rush, which basically means if you end up paying for SEM rush after your trial, I also benefit and there's no extra cost to you for that. So, Today we're going to use SEM rush. Now here's how we're going to do this to measure the click potential. And I'm going to get in there and show you exactly what click potential is as after we get to the keyword. So the first thing that you're going to do is on the left hand side over here on SEM rush, you're going to go down to where it says keyword overview. You're going to pick a keyword that you want to research. Okay. Now this can be a seed keyword or a head term, which basically means it's just the broad version of that keyword. After we put that in, all of those long tails keywords are going to start showing up for us as suggestions. Okay. So let's say you're in the gardening niche, for example, and you're going to do a, you want to do a blog post on how to, how to start a garden. Okay. So maybe we'll just do start a garden and we're going to go to search. So this is the keyword overview tool. Now you've, if you've watched my videos before, you've seen me show you how to do this. Basically what, what happens is Google gives us, SEM rush gives us the total search volume for that keyword based on the country that it's in the platform, etc. how difficult it would be to rank for that keyword, but that's not what we're here for today. Scroll down and click on view all keywords. Now what happens is we moved from the keyword overview to the keyword magic tool. This is where things get very interesting with the keyword magic tool. We're actually able to use this little plus sign to add that keyword to a list in our keyword manager. This is how I do all of my keyword research. So I go through, I look up keywords, I pick ones I want to target. Then I click on the little plus sign and I add them to a particular list. After we add them to a list, we're going to get more features. It just keeps giving and giving. So let's look at this, how to start a garden. Okay. Now, if we were just doing standard research, how to start a garden has search volume of 3,600, um, searches a month. So you're going great. I can get some decent traffic. If I rank on the top of Google, you would assume, right? Cause 3,600 is a decent search. If I can rank on the top now, keyword difficulty 75 on a scale of zero to hundred means it's going to be really hard to rank on the top of Google. So in my other videos, I show you how to drill down and find a more an easier version to rank for. But today let's keep going. What we want to do is we want to look at the potential click volume, the click potential for that keyword. So we're going to go here in the plus, and I'm going to add this to any one of my lists right now. I added it to SEO keywords, but I could create a new list right here and say, you know what? Let's add this to our gardening list. I'm going to create a new list. And I'm going to call it gardening. 
you can have up to a thousand keywords in any particular list. Okay. So now we're going to go to how to start a garden and we're going to look at our keyword manager. So on the left now, we're going to go to keyword manager. So we started with keyword overview. That's where we did our research. And then that took us into the keyword magic tool, which gave us more details about that particular keyword. And now we're going into our keyword manager, which gives us more features. So we're in this gardening niche. I'm going to open that list. And here's our keyword phrase, how to start a garden. Okay. So the seed keyword is start a garden. And usually when it gives me a seed keyword, that means there's going to be a whole bunch of other, um, options around that keyword. If I want to build a cluster, but topic clusters are another video. So we know it has 3,600 monthly searches, but here's what we want to get to right here. Click potential. You guys, this is huge. So if I was going in with just my normal research, I would think <clears throat> 3,600, excuse me, 3,600 top of Google is going to give me some good traffic. However, the click potential for that keyword on a scale of zero to a hundred is only 20%. That means if I land on the top of Google, I only have a 20% chance of getting a click. Well, why would that be? If you hover over this column, click potential, it tells us the click potential. Hold on. Somebody's driving by and I have my window open. I just realized it tells us that click potential is an estimate of the probability in percentage. So 20% of getting traffic to your website. If it ranks at the top of the search results for a given keyword. So what this is based on is what features are on the SERP or search engine results page that are taking away from that possibility of getting clicks from that keyword. So let's go look at the SERP, how to start a garden. Okay. So we have this carousel up here, which is showing us how to start a garden in the front yard, how to start a garden in the ground, how to start a garden inside, how to start a, a garden at a cottage. Okay. Now these are going to take away from your click. If you're ranking down here in the number one position. Okay. So that's one. Then we have ads. Look at, look at these ads. Now, not only is it giving us the ad? It's giving us all of the uh, main sections of that website, which is taking up so much more of page one. Um, and of course I'm on a desktop. So on a, a mobile device, it's a look different Then what else? Well, now there's also a featured snippet up here. So if you don't have that featured snippet, you don't get that zero position up there either. Then what's next? Oh, the people also ask box is also there. So now we have all of these questions. Now, if your website is ranking for one of those questions, that's going to be great. If not, there's another chance that you won't get found. So you got to go through all of this, the carousel, the ads, the, the snippet, the people also ask before you actually even get to that spot on Google. So this is important to make sure that you're taking a look at these, at the search engines and the click potential to see if it's possible for you to rank now. So what we would do is I would create a long list of keywords related to garden. So right up here on the right hand side, I can add keywords. Okay. So without even going and doing a bunch of research, I could put how to garden. how to grow a garden, how to start a garden in the front yard was one of those carousel items, right? Okay. Then click add keywords. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to do a whole bunch of research. Oh, that thing keeps popping up. You're going to do a whole bunch of research on gardening. You're going to add those words to your keyword manager. And then you're going to be able to see the total click potential. The more you add, the better the chances are that you get to a higher click. So let me show you what it looks like when it's all completed. So you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go over here to keyword manager. I'm going to go to all lists and I'm going to pull up one of my lists that has a ton of keywords in it. Okay. 
So let's go to, let's just go to this one. All right. So this particular list is full of keywords related to digital marketing. So when I'm ready to go create my next piece of content, I go to these lists. And sometimes I'll say, you know, let me find uh, one that has a higher volume or let me find one that has the lowest keyword difficulty or let me find one that's got a high co cost per, per click value or let me find one that's got commercial intent because I really want to pitch affiliate marketing. This one here, webinar software, the best webinar software. It has commercial intent. Somebody wants to buy something. I can see the search volume. I can see the keyword difficulty. I can see the cost per click value. Well, over here, there it is again. I've only got a 20% chance of getting clicks if I rank on page one of Google. So what I would do is I would sort this, this click potential and I'm gonna to try to get my 100% down. So here's a great example. So one of the items on my list is AI YouTube video editing software, okay? That's a great blog for me to write. It's well within my niche. A, and I'm doing a whole topic cluster right now on AI software. So AI YouTube video editing software, okay? Over here, I can see it has 480 monthly searches, which is right, right in the pocket. I, I love that volume. Anywhere between 200 and 1,000 is usually pretty easy to rank for. The keyword difficulty is, it's not easy, but it's medium easy. So I know I can rank for that keyword. It's right in line with my domain authority for this website. And then I can see here, I've got a one, I got 100% click potential of earning clicks if I rank for that keyword on page one of Google. Right here, I can also look at my top competitors and I can look at who it is that's ranking for that phrase. I can also look at the SERP features. So somebody has a featured snippet for that keyword. That would mean I have the opportunity to earn a featured snippet. Okay, there's organic reviews. There's people also ask. Um, there's scrollable videos that are showing up. So I know that I can land one of those spots potentially if I can get that to rank. So it, the click potential just gives us, and, and I, 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 I can't tell you the exact science between how SEMrush is determining that factor, but right now looking at it, I think it, it, it just gives us a little bit more advantage. All of these tools are just estimates, but when we know we're targeting content, that is within our topical authority. It's got decent search volume, but not a ridiculous amount. It's within the keyword difficulty we can compete for. And it's got 100% click potential. I'm gonna start with that content first before the more competitive content to improve the chances of ranking on Google. Then I can get 10 more times the traffic from Google, plus, 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 because now I'm able to rank for terms, even if they have lower search volume, that are gonna bring in traffic rather than creating blog posts for search volume that it's gonna be nearly impossible to rank on page one of Google, therefore I don't get any traffic. So this is just one more great feature by SEMrush. I'm Lori Ballin, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video.